Hello students, welcome to Infam Minutes. Let's start with the next topic that is vector integration. So we completed with vector differentiation. Now in vector integration, we will be having a vector. We need to integrate that. Now integration depends on what curve you are taking. So first is, first we are going to discuss is that is line integral. So what is exactly line integral? Let's say f bar is vector point function which is defined over some curves let's say on a curve c and if r bar is position vector of a point set to be x comma y comma z on c then the integral is given by you say integral that is c f bar dot dr bar is called line integral of f bar so let's say i define here r bar is xi plus yj plus zk and let's define therefore i can say dr bar will be dxi plus dyj plus dzk so suppose i define f1 is equal to f1i plus f2j plus f3k if i define this then we can say integration f bar dot dr over a integral c can be given as f1 dx plus f2 dy plus f3 dz so that's my line integral now next is we'll be discussing line integral in parametric form so next is line integral in parametric form so that is exactly what when you talk about a parametric form so as we define line integral we define line integral f bar dot dr bar in integration f1 dx plus f2 dy plus f3 dz now this we are defined so which are in the terms of a single variable now what is exactly meaning of parametric form so when you define parametric form that means we say that x will be in a function of t y will be in a function of t and z will be in a function of t that is f1 of t f2 of t f3 of t so that means when this are in a function of t we need to change x, y, z and r bar in a t coordinates and after that we will be finding let's say we get a function phi of t we will be finding integration phi of t dt that will be integrated in I can say limits t1 to t2 I will be getting that I will be finding that limits now we will be solving some sums on this in my next video thank you for watching video on in 5 minutes